Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Steins Gate the Visual Novel. Who's ready for another date? She's already waiting in the courtyard. When she sees me, she smiles and waves her hand. Too cute. Must resist. We're going to go for another four-hour walk. I make up my mind and throw out the question. I feel like once again you could have held that in your in your mind and then released it just a little bit more smoothly. <laughs> Lukako twitches for a moment. And then she hangs her head. So Lukako just nods stiffly. I consider a more forceful approach. No, no, you've been forceful enough, Okarine. But the words that of that dating manual blaze inside my head. Whatever you do, don't make the girl sad. You might get dumped. If I get dumped, then what will happen to our four-day agreement? Lukako might refuse to turn back into a guy. Uh, no. Lukako's not like that. Mayuri's life hangs in the balance, so I'm sure no matter what I say, she'll turn back. Or is it naive of me to think that? Either way, even though I'm doing this to save Mayuri, I can't just trample on Lukako's pure maidenly heart. <laughs> Neither one of us speaks. Mutual distrust? Suspicion? Discomfort? One word could shatter our temporary relationship. Luka is the first to break the suffocating silence. Luke, stop talking! Lukako bows her head and goes back into the shrine office. I hurt her. I feel guilty, but at the same time relieved. I hate myself for it. That didn't go well. Instead of returning to the lab, I stand on the bridge in front of the station and glaze gaze blankly at the stream of people. Ferris might be visiting the lab. Ferris was at the lab on this day when I first came to the world line. My action shouldn't have influenced Mayuri, so she should have called Ferris over to show her the costumes. Right now, I don't want to see anybody. I need to think. But try as I might, no ideas come, no solutions. Lukako agreed to go back to being a guy if I went out with her for a time. I've stayed faithful to that, so... Faithful? How? I just made a huge mistake back there. I've done nothing but make Lukako sad. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 15th, the day Kamima opens. The day Mayuri dies. At the very least, I need to make our relationship last until that evening. Tomorrow is the end, but I'm not confident I can show Lukako a fun time. Alright, so instead of fussing over a date, I'll just try something that won't make Lukako sad. Uh, don't hold out on this man, come on, tell me. The next morning, after my Yuri and Daru have left for... Ar... Ar... Ariake, I head to the shrine to pick up Lukako. We hop the train in Akiba Station. When she looks... Askance at me, I tell her we're going to see Mayuri. Today, it won't just be the two of us. I don't know what to say when we're alone. I'm afraid I'll just hurt her again. It's time to try something different. Oh, you're going to Kamimo with her, okay. When we get off the train at Tokyo Big Sight, Lukako stares in wonder at the scene spread before her. People, people, people. People, as far as the eye can see. Welcome to Kamima, the Otaku Festival. It's the first day, so Big Sight's more crowded than usual. This is my plan, to take Lukako to Kamima. I'm not making her cosplay, of course. Lukako wouldn't even do it at Mayuri's request, and I don't want to force her to do anything she doesn't want to. We're just here to look and have fun. The first order of business is to hook up with Mayuri and Daru. 
those two live and breathe Kamima, so I'm sure they'll have a lot to talk about. Conversation will flow, and I'll be off the hook. How wonderful to have friends you can count on. Of course. Bringing a date to Kamima is a surefire way to earn myself the hate of otaku everywhere. But no matter. I'll endure their contempt if that's what it takes to make Lukiko happy. So, resolved. I strike out through the crowd towards our designated re rendezvous point. Lukiko, clearly overwhelmed by the sheer number of people, struggles to follow behind. Hi. Near the in, uh, near the edge of the parking lot, I see the petite Mayuri wave her hands high. There aren't as many people here. ダルは。あのね、ダル君はグッズを手に入れるために並んでる最中だから抜け出せないんだって。人仕切り戦利品をゲットしたら合流するかもって言ってたよ。Darn! That means you won't join up with us for at least another hour. Couldn't he forgo the battle just this once? <sighs> Lukako's eyes dart from place to place. She's clearly uncomfortable in the chaotic atmosphere. There's still some awkwardness between us after what happened yesterday. Even on the train ride, we barely spoke to each other. What's the point in being a couple if it turns out like this? It was easier to talk when we weren't supposed to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Lukako seemed to enjoy herself more too. Was it a mistake to bring her to Kamima? Well, Lukako didn't refuse. Even when I told her we were going to Kamima, she just nodded obediently. Mayuri's more cheerful than usual. She must be happy to have us here. Lukako shakes her head. This is just like when I bring friends to anime conventions. Everyone's like, I'll just go with you, and I'm like, great. <laughs> Lukako looks unhappy. Crap, I shouldn't have answered like that. I feel like Mayuri has a different idea of Lukako than Lukako does. Mayuri talks happily to Lukako. I'm glad I chose to rely on this ditch who can't read the mood. マユシーのコスを着てくれてるレイヤーさん。楓ちゃんとフブキちゃんって言うんだけど、二人のことも紹介するね。でね、できれば明日も来てほしいな。そしたらね、オカリンとルカちゃんの分のコスも用意しておく
Mayuri slumps her shoulders in disappointment. In the end, Lugiko and I got fed up with the amount of people and left Ariake early. We took the direct shuttle bus to Akiba that only runs during Kamima, but it was so cramped inside I thought I was gonna die. <sighs> no. We spent the next three hours sighing at each other. By the time we got by the time we get back to Akiba, Lukako and I are exhausted. My feet feel like blocks of lead, and I don't have the energy to even attempt conversation. The two of us leapt back to the shrine without speaking a word, like Spanish monks under a vow of silence. That's an interesting way to describe that. Lukako doesn't raise a single complaint. But taking her to Kamima was obviously a mistake. Lukako's expression has been stiff ever since we met up with Mayuri. Maybe she's still traumatized by Otaku. The first time I met Lukako, he was being harassed by Otaku. Maybe they left a bad impression. We don't talk. We spend most of the day shoulder to shoulder with strangers. I can probably count on my fingers the words I said directly to Lukako today. When we arrive at the shrine, our time as a couple will end. So, this is our last chance to talk as boyfriend and girlfriend. But I'm confused. W what should I talk about? I tried thinking about things we have in common. The demon sword, Samadari. The Sishin Zanma style of swordsmanship. But Kurisu said to avoid Chunibyo topics. And the dating manual concurred. <laughs> what else is there? It finally dawns on me. There's nothing else Lugako and I share. Silent dominates the shrine. The silence should be calming, but it's not. I've safely escorted Lukako home. Mayuri's death is just three hours away. The temporary relationship between me and Lukako ends here. Now, I just need Lukako to give me her mother's pager number. However... Is it really okay to let it end like this? In the end, what have I done for Lukako? I haven't done squat, have I? All I've done is hurt her. <laughs> Suddenly, Lukako starts sobbing. She covers her mouth with both hands but can't stop tears pouring from her eyes. Lukako. When I approach her, Lukako pulls back. <laughs> Lukako wipes the corners of her eyes, but the tears keep flowing, forming a glistening line down each cheek. I'm speechless. I have no idea what to do. A girl is crying before my eyes. It's my duty as a man to comfort her. I know that, and yet no words come. I just stand there like a useless statue. The cause of Lukako's tears is undoubtedly me. I didn't treat her right as my girlfriend, even if it was only a temporary arrangement. And now it ends with me watching as Lukako cries. Lukako, I'm the one who did this to her. I'm the cause of her grief. And yet... She thanks me and bows her head. She lifts her head and smiles shyly through her tears. Wow, you're really bad at reading this, Okarine. That's a lie. That has to be a lie. To my surprise, Lukako takes my hands in hers. Her hand is very warm and delicate. 
This is the first time I've touched her since we became a couple. And it will be the last. Lukako places a note in my hand. And then she pulls away. She bows her head again. Lukako turns her back to me, then disappears into the shrine office. I look at the note. There's a number written there. Probably her mother's pager number. She kept her promise. But I... I didn't keep mine. I can't let it in like this. I run full speed back to the lab, ignoring Curse who's calls to stop. I slap on the headgear and leap to the past. Wow. This is surprising. Like, it really is. Because I remember in the, uh... Watching the anime, you know, like I said, I always kind of reference off the anime. Watching the anime, this sequence with Lukako is very, very short. Like, shorter than Ferris's sequence and shorter than Suzha's sequence, and yet this is turning out to be a pretty big section. They they did a good job of condensing it though from what I can tell, like it, it makes a lot of sense in there. I regain consciousness in front of Akihabara Station. Lukako is next to me. We're about to board the train for Kamima. Lukako looks a little anxious, but she doesn't raise a single complaint. The shuttle bus pulls up. The huge line of people begins to move. <laughs> we can't go to Kamima like this. Shaking off my time leap induced vertigo, I take Lukako by the hand. <laughs> Once we get out of the line, I let go of Lukako's hand and start walking. <laughs> I keep walking with Lukako's hand in mine, ignoring everything else. Lukako looks bewildered at first, but eventually, she says no more and just starts following me with a sad expression. We arrive at Yanavashi Shrine, a place devoid of visitors where an aura of peace and dignity dominates, where the cries of cicadas resound. Lukako's home. Finally, I turn to face Lukako. Instead of letting go, I grasp her warm hand even tighter than before. Perhaps it's the heat, or perhaps it's our nervousness, but our hands are damp with sweat. But still, I don't let go. Lukako is hanging her head. She might cry at any moment. Okay, are you about to like pull something out and do something really cool or are you about to be super lame? I can't tell. Her lips tremble. Her voice trembles. I summon my resolve and answer her with a laugh. <laughs> I strike a pose and mimic a line from a popular card battling anime. Until I witness Mayuri's death, this is how I acted all the time. Now, it takes some effort, but I still have it in me. Thank goodness. But... <laughs> The wind blows. The tree growing over the main building rustles its leaves in response. Lukako looks at me blankly. Tears form in the corners of her eyes. I feel like he's really bad at doing dates. Shugyo? 
忘れたのかい,いえでもあの岡部今日まだ我が名を忘れたのかルカコ俺は狂気のマッドサイエンティスト法院今日まだ Swallowing my embarrassment, I strike another pose. Otoko da toka on nada toka. So you t o k o de o r e a conran ste. Luca got on a curio umakuts come as an eater. Dagana Oreto Luca no cankeva. Hajmeka kima te tanda. Kima te ta. Nanika teska. Oreva Otoko de. お前は女で俺たちは今日までのカリソメの恋人 I take a deep breath I gently comb my finger through Lukaku's hair I twist my lips into a grin そんなことはどうでもいい<笑>俺は俺でありルカコはルカコでありルカコは俺の弟子だ。As I gently stroke her hair, Lukaku puts her warm hand on top of mine. The tears collected in the corner of her eyes suddenly fall. So. So this. Oh gosh. Without the context, this is really odd, isn't it? Kyoma san wa tashka ni. Boku no. Our date isn't over yet. Wait, what? Okabe. Kyoma! How dare you saddle me with that insult! And enough of the boyfriend girlfriend shemale shtick! Prattling on about gender roles. Hell, I wasn't born yesterday! The only thing that matters is chemistry. Everything else is a non issue. I'm the guru, you're the grunt. That's how it's always been with us. And that's how it's always going to be. Understood? よく言ったさあルカコよサミダレを持ってくるのだは,はいあの待っててくださいねすぐ取ってきますからここにいてくださいねどこにも行かないさだから早く行くんだルカコ reluctantly lets go of my hand shyly turns away from me and heads to the shrine office We spend four hours training, just like we used to. Practice swings with the demon sword. Stories of the sword's history. Lectures on the intricacies of. Seishin Zanma swordsmanship. All fabricated for my. Chunibyo delusions. I talk. Lukako, dressed now in her Miko robes, listens with rapt attention. Occasionally, we take a break. Sit on the shrine stairway and eat the sweet ripe spalls Lukaku's mother brings us. And that's how we spend an extraordinarily ordinary four hours. Aww. Yes. Kyoa Kokomode. Lukaku lowers her stance and slowly sheets the demon sword, Samadare. She looks so beautiful and majestic standing there in flowing white robes, sword shining in her hands. I find myself mesmerized once again. Lukako bows, snapping me out of it. もっともっと、京馬さんに教えてもらいたいです。This is a really weird relationship. The breeze feels nice after the sweat we worked up. We savor our comfortable fatigue as we drink the barley tea Lukako's mother brought for us. 久しぶりに、京馬さんのお話、聞けた気がします。ここ何日か、俺の意識は、マニュアルという恐ろしき封印術式により、不安定な状態だった。Foul, grim, だがもう完全復活した。心配かけたな。よかった。いつ
Kimono Kyoma san ga modotte kite kurete. Aww. That's all she wanted was him to go back. Lugako answers happily. And then, her expression turns serious, as if she's made up her mind about something. Ano, kino, boku ni kikimashita yo ne? No, oh. And I totally lied. Lukako looks away. I can see her hands fidgeting in her lap. Finally, with trembling lips, she speaks. No surprise. I expected she'd remember after what I experienced with Ferris. Uh, could you explain that? <laughs> yeah. Then, Lukako starts pawing at the air above and to the right of her head. Oh no, she's turning into a cat girl. I don't really get it. Lukako nods. すみません。昨日は嘘をついちゃいました。ははは。気にするな。この俺、法王院教魔を欺いたものだ。そのおかげで、お母さんのポケベルの番号も。わお。僕、聞かなくても知っているんです。that's some good memory right there. She takes out a piece of paper, upon which is written the number. Yeah, yeah, we know. But it's nice that, that Okreen was able to go be super dorky and, and, and have her enjoy her afternoon. One more thing? Ah, uh, yes. You lied the whole time. We knew it. Now that, I didn't expect. True, Lukako did seem like she knew something about the IBM 5100. Plus, Luca's dad confirmed that it was here at the shrine. And then, one day, it suddenly disappeared. Does Lukako know where it is now? <laughs> but Lukako faintly shakes her head. Lukako grips my hand. She looks into my eyes. Lukako is no longer crying. In the fading sunlight, her eyes shine with firm resolve. Oh no. Okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I thought that was going to turn out a little differently. She brings me to Dai 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 Biru? Bi Dai Dai Bi I look up at the huge towering building. <laughs> Why did you bring that sword with you? Is that like Are people okay with you just walking around with the sword in public like that? <laughs> Lukako faces away from Dai Biru and points to a coin locker tucked in a narrow alley. Lukako walks up to the coin locker as she talks. Until New Year's. That's a contradiction. 
It was only two weeks ago that I found the IBN 5100 at the Yana Yanabayashi Shrine. Which means... I really haven't returned to the original world line. I, I thought you would have figured that out by the fact that Lukiko was a girl. I think I might know what happened to that old PC you've been looking for. The 5100? Uh huh. We had a computer from the 70s that I kind of maybe knocked over and broke while going through our storage. But it was a total accident. I didn't know. Wait. What did, what did that have to do with the coin locker? I don't understand that. Wow, what a punk. Lukaku nods. So you covered it up, you liar. You punk. Wow. Wow. So that's the reason why we couldn't use the push card, because she broke it. And she's a terrible person and wouldn't tell her dad about that either. Even so, it must have been hard to get it here with just a push card. Maybe she was running on adrenaline. ボク、すごくびっくりして。本当のこと Lukiko takes the locker key out of her pocket. Yeah, usually... Usually they do that. They don't normally let you keep it in there for like half a year. This locker charges 200 yen per day. Normally, if a coin locker goes unpaid for more than a few days, the management retrieves the contents. And if the owner doesn't claim it within a within within a month, it's usually thrown away. Meaning the IBN 5100 is already Lukaku goes to a large locker at the end of the row, inserts the key and tries the lock. Huh? This is bad security. You're supposed to Well, honestly, I know this isn't even how it normally works. They like to do like number codes now, but that's bad security to have someone who steals the key able to open it up at a later date. <laughs> sure enough, Lukaku opens the door to reveal an empty locker. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't matter. There's no point in retrieving a broken IBN 5100. But I don't tell her that. <laughs> That's why I must bear the burden. Mayuri's pain, Suzaha's pain, Ferris's pain, and now Lukako's pain. Something occurs to me. What if... What if I sent an email telling Lukako not to sweep the storehouse? How would that change the world line? Would the IBN 5100 stay at the Yanagbayashi Shrine, ready for me to retrieve in August as planned? Part of me wants to try sending that email. If it works, Lugako could stay a girl. No, I mustn't give in to the temptation. My goal is to restore the world line, not warp it further. Fix the past to save Mayuri. That is my mission. I <laughs> なんだか奇妙なんです。奇妙とは僕の記憶の中にはあのパソコンのことについての2つの記憶が混ざっていて 
一つはパソコンを壊した僕の記憶もう一つはそんなパソコンは全然知らないし倉庫のお掃除もしなかった僕の記憶男だった僕はパソコンを壊してません倉庫の掃除の代わりに本殿のお掃除をしていたから So, Lukako swept the storehouse because she became a girl? What? Because she swept the storehouse, she broke the IBM 5100 and deposited it, it into this coin locker. As a result, the IBM 5100 will never reach me. Is this the butterfly effect? There's no longer any doubt in her eyes. There's no choice. She knows it as well as I. 